Hey YouTube, I am headed to a Weight Watchers meeting. I'm running late and I've been trying to lose like 15 pounds forever. Ever since the pandemic, I gained a little bit of weight and I hadn't, I hadn't got that weight off yet. Shame on me. But I'm gonna take you with me to this Weight Watchers meeting and we'll just see what they're talking about. Uh. It's Saturday morning, and the, the meeting started, I think, at 9, and I'm probably going to be miss most of it, but, hey, I'm paying for it. It's being automatically deducted out of my account, so I really need to be going, or yeah, I need to try to get it canceled, one of the two. Let me put my seatbelt on, what I'm doing, get my seatbelt on. All right, y'all. Keep my seatbelt on. Stop playing. All right. And I left my tripod. Rushing, trying to get to this meeting. Left my tripod on. I mean, tripod at home. I'm probably going to run in Best Buy or Walmart and try to buy me a new tripod. So, let's see. The time is 9.09. The meeting started at 9. By the time I get there, it's going to be practically over. But, hey. Maybe next week I'll get my butt up and get to the meeting. I was supposed to go out of town to see my son, but I don't know if I feel like driving two hours today. I really wanted to just rest today. Why is it I can't never rest on my off day? Why come I can't rest? <laughs> Always something to do. Always. Uh my engine light came on my vehicle last weekend so I, it was in the shop and I had a rental car and that was the weekend I really wanted to see them because I had a rental car but uh, anyway I will touch bases with you when I get to the Weight Watchers okay just trying to get Hi, YouTube family. I'm headed to my Weight Watchers meeting. I haven't been in a long, long time. I have about 15 pounds that I need to get off me and still haven't lost it because I haven't really been doing what I'm supposed to do. But I'm headed there and the meeting started at nine and I'm running late. But um, since I'm paying the fees, I might as well go. And we'll be there in a minute. swapping out points. So let's talk about that. When we're deciding what to eat, what are the, what's the meal that you guys have maybe the most, what do we want to talk about? What meal? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, what do you guys think? All of them. Let's just pick one meal. Lunch. One, one, lunch. 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 How, how is lunch for y'all? Sometimes lunch is like, eh, yeah. Yeah. you know, but but sometimes that's where we need most help, right? Yeah. Like, you know, and maybe it's not lunch, but it's that middle yeah. meal. Yeah. Because sometimes it's at 11 o'clock and sometimes it's at 2.30 in the afternoon. True, right? And so that, that meal for me. Or 3 o'clock in the morning if you work overnight. It's right. Yeah. That is, breakfast is pretty in the morning. Uh -huh. Dinner is in the evening. But that middle meal it, it can, can be yeah. early or it can be late right. in the afternoon yeah. and that's one thing that kind of messes mm -hmm. with me because it's not 
It's 12.30 every yeah. single day. And it's different on weekdays versus on weekends, right? right? Yeah. Like my lunch during the week, Monday through Wednesday, you know, my lunch is real good. It's catered by my, my job, and it's like I've got a plan for it. Like I usually know that my lunch is going to be between 15 to 25 points usually for on Monday through Wednesday. So I've got to think about that. Right? And I want it. I'm not saying no to it. I'm not taking my lunch those days. I want that lunch, so I have to plan for it. On the weekends, I usually don't have breakfast before coming here. So my breakfast ends up being at like 11 o'clock. And yeah. then my lunch is a really weird time. Or sometimes I might just wait till dinner and just have a snack or yeah. something like that. So let's just talk about lunch. Lunch, and maybe lunch on a more regular day for people. Maybe we're packing our lunch to take it somewhere potentially, or just having lunch ready in our house to grab or whatever it is. So let's first start with the protein. What are some ideas for a good protein to start our lunch with? Well, see, I normally eat fruit for breakfast. So my lunch is like, I want eggs for lunch. Oh. So I do like a, a version of an eggs benedict where I put uh, English muffin, poached egg, toast, slice of tomato, mm. and yeah, and I'm then <laughs> 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 I'm not. <laughs> I play one what of the time is this story? <laughs> <laughs> And then I, I have enough points, I like at 43 points, so I'll do oh, like some on the <laughs> yeah, see, it's easy is for it? me. I got 43 yeah. points, I can eat 20 point lunch. I never would get those down. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do like a bowl of cereal with like two cups of uh, a cup of almond milk and two cups of pure dairy. Mm -hmm. And that. Okay, so let's think about all of that for his meal, right? So a protein there. The eggs was a zero-point protein, right? And we can easily do any of the other zero-point proteins as well. But he add, we added an egg to it. How about like non-starchy vegetables in it? The the fiber that we can add to a meal. Was there any veggies that you could that you added no, to that meal? I do a meal? fruit cup. In, okay, do, fruit yeah, cup. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I don't do any vegetables. I mean, I should throw some asparagus down. Maybe yeah. you should, right? right? Maybe you should. So for those of us who are eating eggs for breakfast and not the like the middle ground lunch, what proteins are you guys eating for lunch? I do ham. 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 Okay, like sliced ham, jelly ham. I, 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 I buy like the um, two pound little butt of ham oh, yeah. and then I slice it myself. Oh, okay. yeah. or, or you can get them pre-sliced and I, you know, I oh, yeah. have the same lunch every day. So mm -hmm. sliced ham right. and then, you know, Wheat bread for fiber, and then um, olive oil, mayonnaise, because there's only five calories difference between the disgusting non fat mayonnaise and the olive oil mayonnaise. What are normally your proteins? Because you came in with a couple of the struggles of not eating enough. So, what are your proteins for lunch? I usually have either an egg sandwich with some cheese on it, put a piece of cheese on it. Uh -huh. I toast it, have a, like a toasted egg and cheese sandwich. Uh -huh. And some chips. <laughs> so my thought though is like you had mentioned you're struggling with some eating points. A lot of us are going to focus and I liked your insert because a lot of us are going to focus on like a zero point protein and that's a great way. When we're struggling to stay within budget, that's a good start, right? Yeah. So we don't have the points like to throw in the ham sandwich. Like I might say, well, I wonder if there's like, do you have shaved chicken breast or something like that you can add as a sandwich or shaved turkey or something. But for you who's wanting to add points, his idea too, right, of having like a, a protein that is something you actually have to track rather than egg would be a way to add in yeah. points in those days, right? And then you might be like, oh, this is exciting. I've got this here. Like, you might get really excited yeah. about Then that's a real easy swap for more points, it would be. Yeah. more flavor, and yeah. kind of getting you to get to that ground where you're wanting to if, eat a little bit. If I, I add in the pretzels for the crunch and I take celery's two celery sticks sliced, and I take carrots, it comes up to 12 points a day. So mm -hmm. my lunch is 12 points. And that, then I do my 12 hour fast, and it allows me to eat a half a chicken for breakfast. Yeah, a half How many points do you get? Um, yeah, 32. 32. Throw <laughs> <laughs> some ham on that sandwich. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 My personal sausage crumble. Yeah. Now, you're, you're said, yeah, one point per slice. Even if it's one point for two, 
But that's sometimes you find them. Yeah, really interesting. <laughs> that, that Jimmy Dean sometimes movie Jimmy Dean Jimmy Dean. They're sold out every time I go to a store to look for them because you find out there's so yeah. much stuff. I know. know. I've been, I've been looking for them. Jimmy, Jimmy Dean, Dean turkey crumbles. sausage crumbles. Yeah. Sometimes you put you sauce, it in the freezer. You put it in omelets. It's just, you know, it's very good. All right. So thinking about this strategy, right? So we add a protein. And then we want to beef it up, right? Like mm -hmm. we need, we want to beef it up with like non-starchy vegetables. So like some ideas here of like fiber-rich food that we can use as a base <coughs> of, or filling protein. Mm -hmm. Then we want to bulk it up. Mm -hmm. Really thinking of that non-starchy vegetables or fruit, right? So like for me, if I want to have a salad, which I never used to think I would say, I hated salad. You guys. I hated salad. But now when I think about it, I'm like, ooh, I can have chicken salad and we can throw in I don't even need like a lot of. You mean like, chicken at, into a salad or chicken salad? Because chicken salad's not. It's very point. different. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 not yeah, like points. That. But yeah. every now and then you can have it, right? Like you can you still can make it at home. Nowadays. You can have anything. Uh, but no, more of like chicken breast that is shredded or cut up in, in slices for I, I a salad. The, I buy the, the frozen fajita chickens. Yeah. Because yeah. you can cut that out and put it in a salad. <laughs> so my salad has uh, tuna and water, or a hard boiled egg, or the chicken. I rotate them. Because I right. try to have a salad every day, too. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. So, like, yeah. protein, right? Let's bulk it up. Let's add in some of those non-starchy vegetables. But then beyond that, right, like, think about a starchy <coughs> vegetable that you want to add, right? Then what is that? Could that be potatoes? Mm -hmm. Could that be corn? But then lastly, what are going to be the things that you want to enjoy on it? These are the things that are add a little bit of fat to it, that add a little bit... It could be, you know, drizzling of olive oil. It could be adding cheese to it. It could be adding some nuts to it. Like these are still really great things for you, right? Because we still need good fats in our body, but they do count points. So like thinking about a meal as that full rounded capability, right? And that's what I'm trying to do more of because I don't get enough non-starchy vegetables. I do eat a salad almost every day because we have a salad option at work, which is nice. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'll eat salad, I guess. And so it's really great. Um, but then like thinking about what are ways we can incorporate more into this? Can we add in some mushrooms and throw them into our, our burrito? This last week and two weeks ago, my husband and I, this is funny because eggs are expensive right now. <laughs> or they're still not more expensive comparably to other proteins. Yeah, right? if, you, if you think they're expensive, go look at the steak and go, oh, okay, eggs Right, are exactly. Yeah. But um, they're more expensive. And so I actually went to the store recently and was going to buy more eggs, and there was none. And so I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but um, so there was a, my husband and I most of the time eat a breakfast burrito in the mornings. And normally it was him making it every morning, like a bacon, egg, and cheese burrito, or sometimes just egg and cheese or whatever, in the mornings every single day. From and scratch or frozen? No, from scratch. Every Ooh. morning he did. Does he, does he dip it in mixture for other people? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then I found there was, the one day I was shopping, I was like, how about this? And I sent a Weight Watchers recipe. I think it's like easy, cheesy burrito or something and has black beans in it. And I was like, how about this? He was like, okay. So one Sunday night we made it and we were like so impressed. We're like, this is actually great. We only have to clean this pan one time this week. Like, you know, where you make it every day, you're having to clean it multiple times. It's like, why haven't we done this? Not only that, but the recipe has... I'm getting ready to step on the scale at my Weight Watchers meeting. The moment of truth. Let me take off my shoes. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. All right. Dolores Chandler is my name. Okay. And so, do you normally go to Susan's meetings? Mm -mm. Are you new? I normally come here. I'm not new. I just hadn't been here in a while. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, hang on a second. So, no, I mean, on Saturday meetings or a different day? I normally come on Saturday meetings. Mm. Yeah, you have. <laughs> you just don't. You just don't remember. It's okay. <laughs> I haven't been in a long time. 
Well, that's all right. I'm just checking. Um, Chandler, C H A N D L E R. It should be an under the seeds, right? Yeah. We have so many different seeds. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm just Do you need to see my. Oh, no. You're no, you're good. I found it. You found it. Okay. All right. So here's the scale. All right, Dolores. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Step on up. Oh, no. And then you signed in with Carolyn too when you came in, right? Alright. Yeah, let's see where I saw you. Alright, so we are that's our number for today. And so then if you want to track it in your app. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Now, do you want to go to the newest program? Because we started in January. We got a new program? Well, it started in uh, December-ish, I guess. I guess so. I'll, okay. Well, I need to get my mother. Then you might decide, you know what, I'm going to try my dinners. <laughs> You're recording? Mm hmm <laughs> Keep it, keep it. Um, so I'm going to track my dinners or whatever it is you want to track consistently. So within the app, um, you're not going to see anymore the option to add in non-starchy vegetable servings that you've added in the day, where previously we had it where you can add in a cup of non-starchy vegetables and it would add to a point. You're not going to see that anymore. But in your app, you are able to come into the menu and see your zero-point foods. Now here's where it's different. Everyone has the zero point foods that are the same. So there was a period of time there where you had um, your personal zero point foods. And so now everyone is just kind of on the same page because it just is helping everyone to be able to share a little bit more and just kind of doing what's consistent where before the WW decided that having everybody having different zero point foods actually added friction to the program. It kind of made it a little bit harder for people to stick mm -hmm. with it. So they're going back to what works where everybody has the same zero point foods. Okay. Do you have any questions on like using the app or what might help? There's also a lot of other features in the app that I don't know if you know about, like we have our connect. So this is kind of like social media oh. for WW right within the app. Like it's oh, like really? the three persons. Okay, yeah. I didn't know about that part. Mm -hmm. So like people can post. In fact, in this particular meeting, we have a hashtag that we like to use. Oh. It's hashtag Saturday LR, Saturday Little Rock. Um, so if like you search the hashtag, you'll see like our posts from the week from the members. I'm and trying to document my journey a little bit so okay, no, that's on good. video to help me. <laughs> that's too. right. Yeah, so you'll see actually this member wasn't here today. Um, and so, but she's still, she posted on there. Saturday Little Rock, they, she looks like she went out walking with someone. Okay, um, but yeah, yeah, that's so, great that so they're cool. on social media now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to. Yeah, so it's all right within the app. And community, so, you know, that's yeah. what it's all about. There's groups on there that you can join um, as well. So you can find like like minded topics. There's recipes. Of I need course. somebody to go exercising with. I ain't lying. Yeah, well, <laughs> getting like exercise. Just walking with a group, outside. Right. It's very helpful to like have someone. It just adds mm -hmm. to that enjoyment mm -hmm. of right. it. Right. Um, for sure. I know I have group classes at my job and mm -hmm. that like having it in my calendar where there's other people that I know are going to be there is really helpful yes. because I'm able to just join that. Um, but yeah. Or maybe I need to get a dog and walk with my dog. Hey, some people really, they keep some, keep some motivated. Liz, you gotta walk with, you gotta walk the dog every day. My dog yeah. is like five pounds. So I just let her out. She doesn't get really walked. Um, but yeah. I think I'm pretty familiar with the app though. Okay. But I didn't know about the social media part on it. Good. Okay. Good. Yeah. The community part. Okay. Yeah. And this meeting is community, right? Coming yeah, it is coming. Community. And that's the hard part. Getting out of bed on Saturday morning oh, and getting up here because I was wanting to be lazy and stay in. But I made myself come on out. I'm happy you came. I'm happy <laughs> All right. you came. All Thank right. you. You're welcome. Thank you.